All right, so we're inside and it's Father's Day. So we want to really start off by wishing all the daddies a happy, happy Father's Day from the Burn Team family. Yes, so a special happy Father's Day to Shul and Coffee, right? He's the founder of the Burn Team. So there he is. Yeah, Special, so happy Father's Day, <laughs> right? Yeah. Inside. I shout and out my daddy today. A happy Father's Day to my dad as well. Excellent, excellent. Yes. Paul Panema. <laughs> I for people to go look at Mister James. <laughs> yes, yeah, and we have England. We have both in England and Trinidad, and like England, we have cook. What were you eating for Father's Day? Why are you going to eat it? Why are you going to eat it? I don't know what's cooking. Uh, oh, God. All I can do is... All I hear that, you see this Father's Day, we have to be treated like king. Like king, right, okay. We're going to eat king then. You know, you know, we have a special place for mothers, but you know, fathers, we want to do something for the father. Yeah? So we decided to bring these beautiful ladies here. Let me look at them. Later. All you know, you can't be a father unless you deal with one of these. I have father and mother in one, yes, that's right. So we, uh, no, we know it have stepfathers, we know it have uncles, right? We know it have guys that, you know, step in and stepfathers. Yeah. But we're talking about real biological. <laughs> <laughs> the real family. So, uh, between you two ladies, you fellas, you have to actually breed. Honestly. <laughs> Good morning, Sonali. Call your name, Sonali. Look, Sonali. Good morning, Sonali. Yeah, yeah. It looks like just that we don't cook up a pot, right? For the people who get in pay late, you know, you all could pre order your tickets and send daddy on the bus ride. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, it's a Father's Day package. We don't want no sock. We don't want no bed. It's a Father's Day package. Right? So this could be part of the Father's Day package. So he gets his meal, he gets his this, he gets his that, cologne, he, he see the yaki, he whatever. I only call it nice, cologne. Right? And then he had him a ticket for the, um, <laughs> the bus, right? Is that what you get today? No, yeah. We cook it, we cook it today. Chica, I, what's that? I don't know. I don't know what's cooking. We're cooking. Chicken. So, fellas, if you're now joining us, happy Father's Day, right? And we gave them, yell them some trouble. It's a day. So, I want to ask some questions. Jezan in the center pocket. I'm going to in the center these days. Jezan in the center pocket. What do you remember most about as a youth growing up? Getting into trouble. When your mother says, I'm going to tell your father. <laughs> <laughs> okay. To be honest, I, I can't answer that because mm. my father passed away when I was right. two years old. Right. right. So I didn't grow up with my dad, but I had a stepfather. Right, right. I do it, right? That's my dad. Mm -hmm. But I remember when my mom used to say, I go down and tell your father, right. I used to run so fast <laughs> and make that you turn. Because <laughs> I know you come with the belt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You want to make sure place it, Chica. Give us an experience. Give us an experience where yeah, something happened. Oh, you're looking nice. Oh, you're looking nice. You're looking nice. My. <laughs> <laughs> Interestingly enough, my mother mm -hmm. never said, I'm waiting for your father to get home. I'm going to tell your father. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. I, didn't have, I didn't have that 
experience. Yes, she was there, but mm-hmm. she she was it had nothing like no waiting till they father reach home. Right. Yeah, yeah, things one time. Yeah. Yeah. We never had that, but like if we my father there, we know what time it is. You know, we don't yeah. mess about and play about and you know. But um yeah. Let's say what's an audience saying about when let me let me get out in the device there. Um then she asked me what what breakfast the kiddies make for you this morning. <laughs> the the main coffee tonight for him. Coffee. Well, yeah, simple part. Listen, it's simple. Eh? I will. I easy to please, you know. As my mother would say, any woman have me in her house is blessed. Right? I just love. I love few things, and it's not things that I hate. Right. Well, fella, when your mother tell her boy child that I'm going to tell your father. <laughs> 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 your ass book. <laughs> your ass in darkness. <laughs> yeah. Your cut ass book. I don't know what girl used to get away really because your children has always been daddy. But I would say in, in, in certain instances, your children has kind of have a soft spot with daddy. You understand daddy, your child has be kind of, you know, I know that fact. But with the boys, we just give the boys a little trick. But no, that's a really tired girl children and father. My daughter, I could think mm-hmm. about that, my 10 year old, and that's his eyeball. He's like this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He can't we... do what he can't do. And I'm like, uh, yeah. if I tell him off, he tells me off, and I'm like, I'm disappearing now, you know? Yeah. But you can't tell him nothing. Yeah. He's like, hit on hit on you. That's his eyeball. I'm yeah. telling you. I'm like, yeah, okay. Daughter, nice day, nice day, nice day. Yeah, yeah. Like when you have one daughter, that's all he behaves. They have to realize they have Kyle, you know. They have to be able to see him like this. It's like, yeah. and yeah. you know why? It could be because they know that's his first daughter. That's his first daughter. I yes, that, that's what we're here. Yeah. yeah. So sometimes, yeah. So sometimes you might wonder, but why it is it up? But it it always have a reason behind it, eh? Nah, he he said that he hoped they didn't burn the eggs. They burn the eggs. The whole she hoped they didn't burn the eggs. The church. She burn the eggs on Ali, not the kids. Sure, man. Oh, now they're ready. Is that real food, kid? Is that real food, kid? They get it. Yeah, yeah. So again, eh? again, happy fans. They let's just and give them guys a happy fans. Just and we have to tell the guys. The guys. Why you you sell for fans? Did you? You buy a ticket for um, the daddies. Uh, any sponsors for the daddies for the boat ride? So. <laughs> you are this boat ride, bus ride people. It's a bus ride. Bus ride, bus ride, bus ride. Sorry. Bus ride. Being a boat ride. So let me have a scenario saying here now. She says she really collect cutters for so. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, well. I think the boy well, tried. The thing, the thing about it is, right, is mm-hmm. every father is different. It all depends on the type of father that they have. It has some, it has, it has the, whether they try, if you do wrong, you do wrong. If you're right, you're right. It's I know yeah. this is my daughter and you're getting away with anything. I, so, I it all depends on the type of father. Either he gets yeah. away, don't yeah. get away, or he deals with it. Yeah, the father, he might, is, he might deal with it differently. Some fathers go beat, some fathers go talk, some fathers go address the city. You know, it's all based on what the, yeah. Yeah. What the crime is. <laughs> yes. I, I, father, I, I don't think fathers will... Beat the daughter's boy. You know what I mean? I, I still believe that um, if it had to do with discipline in that aspect, far, the mother would do that. The, uh, those, I, I, I don't know if it happened in, in case, different cases. I, I agree with you. I agree with you. I agree with you. I agree with you. That is some. That is some. I agree with my daughter. So I wouldn't. I, I can't. You see, 
the, the discipline with that aspect, that corporal punishment could come from the mother. I don't think that a man should be really beating his daughter. I don't think that is a, that is a good vibration. I know that the punishment could be turned without licks. Um, yeah, I think men, men punish the children, but I don't think that's the other men. The boys, I think the mother would call the father for the boy child when he coming out like 17, 15. You see, when he's starting to, to get to that kind of level, you know, you would call daddy to, as be the same training, man, handle the man a little bit. You know what I mean? Because then he testosterone is be high, and you know, you need the man to deal with the, the young man coming up. But yeah. that's something that hit them, boy, them so close. <laughs> <laughs> so it depends. She can write it depends. It depends on the yeah, type. Yeah, depends. So, cause some father, it will be like a norm, or they may it have some that will and it have some that would not. Yeah, so this is for the ladies. Place in the coverage section. Hey, let me let me see what we're doing. What's the nice say? I mean, no fathers don't beat now, but back then, yes. So no, true. yeah, yeah. It, is, it, it is, and then it yeah, depends on the school, the age. Now, nowadays, parents yeah. are not making kids, yeah. I agree with Sonali, yeah. So, ladies on the panel and everybody on the live, please in the comment section, what is the best gift you ever purchased for your father and father's day? Well, the thing is, I am the gift. <laughs> I no, like, like actually, you know, something I it's true because my dad's birthday is the day after mine, so I was his birthday gift. Do you understand? The mm. first child, the first daughter, so now I say I'm the gift. <laughs> no, but yeah. on a real, um, I really can't remember sorry, what sorry. to say would have been the best <laughs> gift, but it definitely wasn't socks and drew. No, no, you are the checking name. Is it, is it on a phone? No. It definitely wasn't socks and drawers. Different things, you know. We'll buy, we will do a little, a little mini. It's other time we did a little skit and all kind of thing for him, my mom, sister, and I. Uh, so, I, yes, I know we grew up making cards and you know, these kind of things, you know, like, and yeah. Not every time you buy something, you have to do it down. You know, you can make things, you know. That's how I grew. Yeah. But some people want to shop and when it's part of it, buy not something that. No, I don't, I didn't do okay. And that. he, well, he had like perfume. So, and perfume is uh, quick. So, he definitely gets in perfume wherever he likes to ride and swim, buy those things that, you know, he really likes to use. Not really that socks and draw scenario that people just be talking about. You understand? Yeah, my, my, my husband like that. Boxers, Amani boxers, and so So we get used to that now. And his big kid was by him that, so he used to that, you know, like, that so few years. But, um, you know, my step that oh, loves even it. Yeah, or oh, things that they like, so you know that they enter something, whether it's music, yeah, yeah. Whether it's um, swimming, cycling, running, they like to be active, you know, you buy things that will contribute to what it is they like doing on a day to day basis. Yes. Yeah. My daughter made this for her dad, administration. All right. It's a little box, it said five star, five star dad. All right, all right. And it opens nice. a five star in there. Okay, even watches yeah, too, you know. So it has, it, you see, it all, oh, it looks lovely, lovely. Yeah. So, this is what yeah. I'm saying. And the thing about it, yeah, that's what yeah. children, children is only when it is they get older, older. when it's then they are yeah. working, they're working, they're working, they can afford to buy things, yes. and you know, so, so exactly. saying the best gift I ever bought wasn't for Father's Day, but it was impromptu, I bought a vintage car for his collection, okay, very nice, okay. that's nice, yeah, she said it was impromptu. And that's the thing. So it's not only you don't have to just wait for Father's Day or some Father's special Day. occasion. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, Mother's Day for me, Mother's Day every day because you're here with the kids every day. They do things, they cook every day. The kids do things for you. Not only on Mother's Day, it's special. I think special every day, you know, not just Mother's Day. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so to the Father's so. 
people go all the they way every day. You know all these things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So let us know what is the best gift you all ever bought for your father, for fathers. Yo, what is the best thing you ever like did, like did for your father and fathers day or any other or any other day, right? But today is Father's Day. We are celebrating the fathers. We are appreciating the fathers, right? Mothers, we want you to remember that a father's role in his children's lives are very, very important. Right? And sometimes, you know, mothers can't forget. They might say, nah, I don't need a man. But yes, the father's role is very important in that child's life. Mm-hmm. Don't ever forget it. You don't I want the child growing. Yeah, don't ever forget it. And sometimes you may think that um, the father doesn't know. You may not be good with the father, but that doesn't mean to say the child would not be good with their father. Mm-hmm. Right, make sure that the child's father, whether you, if it is you all are not together again, make sure that the child develops a relationship with their fathers. Yeah, I totally agree with yes. you. That's important, that's very important. Some women yes. behave like, oh, I, I, I don't need a father, I don't need a father figure, I'm mother, father. It's stupid talk. You know, that is talking. The child needs yes. a father figure. Mm-hmm. Even though you're not together, you know what I mean? I hear a lot of women talk like that, and I, I don't like to hear that talk. It's very... No. Nah. What's the Nali saying there? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> She's saying, but for Father's Day each year, I get him exactly what he wants. To be left alone, not to be bothered. Give <laughs> my peace and quiet. And sometimes, and sometimes, yeah, and sometimes, that's all some people want to know. They don't want no crowd. They don't want no party. They all they want. Some nice cool food. Some nice cool drugs. <laughs> right? All they want is a little, though they ain't need no people around, peace squad. They might want a movie at the side, wherever it is they do, they want to do it alone. And sometimes, as a matter of fact, men don't really ask for much, you know, like when they really think about it, men don't ask for much. Is the well, woman who is be asking for what kind of thing? Unless you're going by what the problem, unless you're going by the luxury store, ladies, I just want to add that into the mix for Father's Day. Ladies, you all should take a trip to the to the uh, lingerie store. You know what I mean? Because you know, sometimes I hear him buy this for daddy, buy that for daddy, but uh, <laughs> you mean as a wife wife or, significant, or others. significant others, you mean wife and significant others. It would be nice, you know, to take a trip to the lingerie store. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, like we take a trip there. Let me be real, man. A nice yeah, you, so yeah, you, you, anyway, oh, I will we'll talk about that another time. You mean Father's no, no, Day? No, 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 not that. I'm going, I'm going to say something else. Like eh? Yeah, so yes, Tara, I was just saying that that men don't really ask for anything much, you know. What just, nice super jury. Only well, let me get rid of the granny, the granny lingerie, please. The drawers that only had like six years now. <laughs> bye, I'll see you later. Bye. bye. Let's get rid of those. Big up the soldiers, big up all parents. This is the parents, this celebration. We want to get rid of some of the excess um, lingerie that was there for a while and we want to refresh it. You know, you refresh your face. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ha- and happy oh, Father's Day, Taro. Happy Father's Day. Yeah, Taro, big up yourself. Taro, we had, we had to bring all them boys and them before. We had to be going back on the hill, but at some point, we we'll bring all them boys on the hill for a little, you know? Because Taro used to bring them boys and them, you know? And... So, Jizan is going to give us a little shimmy. <laughs> I danced in the hey last night. Uh, my, right I now, my calves. I can't feel my calves. I think we had a party last night, you know, but we were talking. 
<laughs> you know, kind of take it up, party. Yeah, the party man. was good. Party was nice. Sir, say amen. Let's get rid of that old thing. Bring new thing. I tell all this. It's a real thing, guys. You know. For real. For real. I am telling all this. Real. Listen. That's a real thing. Change it up. <laughs> Where well, Lisa boy? <laughs> Why is she taking so long? Ten but minutes, ten is an hour. <laughs> yeah, no, Lisa boy. Right? <laughs> so we have both team England, we have both team Trinidad, both team Global Limited, and look at yeah. Well, they have two beautiful ladies here, which you know they have people. Like, they were never better than that. There's always there was nothing better than that. Happy Father. So next question. I know we jump there, but it's when we talk about the Oh god, he got back with that talk again. But the hell vibes is nice. Family yeah. gets it. You know Adam. That's another thing. I you know get together. You know it's normally for Mother's Day would we'll have nice little party. Little get together some Mother's Day. I think that was the one last night. Um but you know how men get together for, on a Father's Day, and I feel reggae on the hill, and I feel, you know what I mean? So why didn't do that, Lion? Why didn't yeah, go on the hill and keep a party? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you what know something, what I realize, what I realize is, I think it all depends on the families, traditions, and culture, because it has some families that do do it, like have get together for Father's Day that yeah. they have a cooker, they will do a outside, they do a barbecue on the grill outside. And you know, or they might go and do a little river lime or something. Right? Yeah. So it have some families that, you know, do that. It have some fathers that they can't say they never get through, you know. So I think it's all based and you know something, it's the what I will say is the mother's responsibilities or the daughter's responsibility mm-hmm. to ensure that this happens. Not the men try because well, really yes. and truly the yes. women are the organizers because when you look at when it's have a mother's day celebration right yeah it's sometimes it's women who organizing their own thing you know and yes, exactly. the, fa- the men the men who are trading money for it, the, no the money. men you know the they're trading they just, money they, they, they put yeah, they buy they the drinks the and all yeah, of that they, they provide and, and they support it. They're not but planning. when it comes no. to the plan, it's plan when it's the plan mothers. come along. So it's the women, it's the women. women, if you're not doing it, you know, we need to start doing it, you know, because fathers really need to be happy because they do a lot and they oftentimes are not showing the appreciation or showing the time that, that, that lends for to what my it is they do. That lends to my next question. Ladies and my soldiers are the live, right? Are men really appreciated in dispensation now as father? Uh, they are underappreciated. Because if it is we go to do a, a, a poll, you'll see that men are underappreciated. Yeah. Why why is they that? Are. Why why you think that is why crazy? I why I'll say that is one because of the mothers of the children, because what we are seeing now is Mothers trying to um, claim the role of fatherhood. You know, they they take away the shine from the men. Look who? Lisa. 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 Good afternoon. Right? They take away the shine. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. So women are trying to take the, you know, this trying to be the men. That is what mm. it is. And all because women are trying to be men and trying to show this this whole full nothing is wrong with being able to, you know, take care of yourself, you know. But this independence in a way that I don't need a man, I think that is what is happening. And yeah, a lot of women, women say that I live along it. Yeah. They, they keep saying yeah. this. Push you know. it. They can they basically push the men away. So sometimes the men may not be really around because they're not creating an environment that is peaceful, that I is totally conducive agree. to live among to live with you. So that sometimes they really not they, it's not that they don't want to be with their children, you know, it's that the women are making it very the women, yes, exactly. and making it stressful for the men. 
And if that's not, if it is a create an environment that's comfortable, peaceful, you know, no stress, then the men will just be there all the time. So it's really the woman I saying that's causing this. And yes, a lot men of women is... push away the baby fathers and they don't want them in their life to change yeah. life. Say, mm-hmm. some I've of seen them even say, the they've been picking up the phone. Yes, you may not be in a relationship anymore, but it ain't going to take nothing for. You to call the fan, let the child talk, video call or whatever, talk to the well, she daddy happy father's day. Exactly. And then taking nothing. You don't understand? take nothing. This is what I'm saying. My my daughter, my big daughter, for, for perfect example. I have that bond relationship with him. I could call him anytime and speak to him about anything. I don't have to, you know, I'll call Delisha. Right. You know, I will call him, I wish him happy father's day. You understand? We have that communication. Right. You know, it's not to say, like, right. I'm not with him, and that is my daughter, that I don't speak to him, or I don't want him not to do him. I don't live like that. You have to be able to communicate with the dad. It's both parent, mother and father. So you should be able mm-hmm. to talk to your, your, your child's father. Some women just push yeah. away their baby father, and they just sit back and say, oh, I could do everything on my own. I'm independent. I'm yeah. this and that. But then the child gets rotten along the line. The child becomes nobody because they don't have that guidance. No father figure. And the mother yeah, just leaves the child. And then they get nowhere yeah. in life because they don't have a yeah. father figure. I've seen it happen a lot. A lot of time. Right now, one of my friends, her son, he back home and he's gay like a girl, dressing like a woman because, because his father is here. The stepper didn't want him here. If he had his father figure in his life, he probably wouldn't have been like that. He grew up with no, no father right. figure. Right? Hmm. And the father devastated now. He can't change that now. He's already gone that road now. Hmm. So this is what right, so, Yeah. And some so women push women, their fathers away. Yes. Women and sure and just don't call when it is you find the child giving trouble. Right? You know, sometimes that's the only time you're supposed to be able women to call, call anytime. Any time call, call any time, call your baby father, any, birthday, any time, Father's Day, everything. Christmas, every, you know, everything, everything, in the between at the end of the week, whenever, whenever, however, the end of the week, the school, so, seven days yeah. a week, the end of the week, if you choose to call Sunday, you call yeah. Sunday, you choose to call, for, you know, you do that, we know, but don't wait we for know that, that yes, yeah. we know that, yes, sometimes, you know, you may not, you may not be living in the same area. One might be living in the next country or a different part of the country, whatever the country. case is. But the we, case, yeah. we are in an age of technology now. Technology, we have yeah, all, text, we have all, all kind you know. of transportation. It can take plane, bus, maxi, taxi, whatever. Exactly. It has many different ways to make sure that children that child and their fathers, have, fathers their have, have that bond. Mm-hmm. They have that coming have and that, that bond. bond. Yes, there's no excuse. No excuse. Yes. I want to yes. make excuse. The, man, the, the one calling is again is when that I get money. <laughs> hey, that, I'm just going to say that. Only say, oh, I need this. I need, oh, I need money for school fee. I need money for clothes. <laughs> You're getting that call for sure. But any what other calls? You no. guarantee to get a phone call, people. <laughs> no. I'm going to tell you that you're getting a call for that. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> put you a lot in this moment. Some father had to put up with a lot of stuff from women. Yeah, I exactly. see it every day. Yes, yes. I didn't be happy when they wanted well, that is the next problem again. They're going mad, they want to be yeah, here. <laughs> but when the father's day, Christmas birthday, that phone no somehow the reception has gone up. <laughs> <laughs> We are the side, we are the side, and it's love, love we are dealing with. This how you're going, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. You couldn't get up this morning. This are quiet. How come she's so yeah. quiet? So I will let them. No, everybody wants to talk. Get so I get my chance to say whatever. So I just right. Wait. So we give any Lisa. We give yeah. We give any chance now. now to talk. Lisa, to say, go ahead. First and foremost, I'd like to wish children happy Father's Day and continue having wonderful Father's Day and more. Um, I'd like to thank him for welcoming the Andy Bird team, Kian Chamita, you know. Um, my point of view on fathers, 
my child father, I will never let him out of my children's life, no matter what I'm with somebody else, he's always there. You know, I want them to build that relationship with him. You know, so when they get older, they could always say they have a relationship with their father. And if they call him, he tries. He's a father, I cannot say he don't try. He tries, he tries a lot, he tries very hard. You know? And um I will never let them out of his life. I will never tell them don't talk to their father. I will even I will even bad talk them with their father. Because it's him, the both of us that brought each other in this world. It has plenty single fathers out there that will try. It has some that not trying. Mm-hmm. Yes, the parents them is have to be mothers. We start to pick up the the the, the um the role on being both mother and father. You know, some mothers they have somebody and help and they, they leave the father out. No, you can't do that. Mm-mm. You understand? So I believe that father plays a very important part. For example, my dad, he plays a very important part in my life. You know, as I as I speak personally, you know, the the struggles between when you do have food on the table, you see that providing food here for us, me and my kid. You know, um, I can't go through that he's still around for Father's Day, that I can have him a permission, happy Father's Day. I just want to have him a permission, happy Father's Day, I gave him some nice words, you know, and everything. But um, Father's, to me, is a very important part in children's life because Without our father, how will you bring children in the world? You can't bring children in the world by yourself. You understand? Exactly. Mm-hmm. So, um, as a woman, as wife, girlfriends, single mothers, I, I give the advice to everybody on this life. Don't let your children stay away from their father because you will regret it. You know, although you have somebody new in your life, still let them talk to their father. Right, they let them talk to the father, let them have that communication with their father. Mm-hmm. If, they feel that they to, if they happen, boom, you come and close his eye today or tomorrow, right? You will be, you will feel the pain and you will feel the regret and the hurt, you know. So, although I have somebody in my life, my fiance in my life, they still have a communication. My child father will come here, so I will never stop him from coming and seeing them because I will not do that. Because I don't want to live without this pain. I never let them talk to their father, have a conversation with their father. Or I will tell them, don't go by their father. You know? So, I allow them to go. If they don't want to go, they'll still go. You understand? Spend a little weekend with him. Right. You know? Or oh, his birthday. Go and spend a little weekend for his birthday with him. And them thing. And my kids, they understand. And some children, they oh, I'm not going by my father. Because do you this and leave you and no. We still have to live in it according to you and you and everybody and children. We still have to live with it. Mm-hmm. So, so, yeah. Live. A man is a man. I always say my child father made me a woman with Rojan, having my two children with him. And he mm-hmm. tells a mother, a very good mother to them. I pull up these slacks, you know, and when it's time I call him, whatever problems I call him, talk to them. You know, talk or listen to them. You know? Right. So, yeah. we should at least have all the people don't do. If they get five cents, they get ten cents, they give a hundred dollars. They're still giving, they're still trying because it's also hard. So, they're not doing nothing. They're not doing yeah. nothing. Mm-hmm. They're not doing nothing. You know? So, as I say, happy fathers, it's so all and all, all the fathers on the boom team, in the background, and the live. Especially to Sheldon, a very special happy Father's Day to him. You know, he can be a you know, father, godfather, uncle, whatever. Happy Father's Day to him, father. So that's my point of view. And happy Father's Day to Susan Dad, Shemika Dad, happy Father's Day to you all guys. And that's my point of view about Father's Day. Yep. Right. Nice, Lisa. Nice, nice. nice. So, so now they saying exactly fathers are truly important in the lives of their children. Yes, yeah, I so, agree. And mm. then they are, then they are the fathers who are doing it when they know the mothers like to talk. I am doing it on my own. They are fathers who, you know, these 
Ah, uh, you know the single parents and they are they holding it down. It have some of them the women either they may have abandoned the relationship, abandoned the children, and mm-hmm. they stick it through. Right? Mm-hmm. Um because yep. my mom and she was doing a, a course, it's had one of the men he right now is seeing about his two children, right? And you don't know where the lady going. You understand? Um. So, I even a big up mm-hmm. to those who have special needs children. Um. Mm-hmm. Some of them they they stick. They stick with um. The children and the ladies go on because they can't handle just can't handle it. So it have some of the men they too they stay. Right? They really really stay and they push through. So big up to those fathers as well with special needs children. Mm-hmm. And if the yep. fathers need a little breather, <laughs> you know, sometimes we just need a little breather. Like you. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> I know you are going to do that. This is <laughs> uh, I want to tell the guys who you know need a little break, they're working hard, who working the machine, who working night. All the men just work real hard and without watch that. You know what it is for this little money here where they want to play the given people in this world and you're working hard over okay? You know, you, you need that little appreciation, eh? you, know, little, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because you're working, eh? I talk about the fellas who don't be working. <laughs> For this and our money, is this inflation, eh? <laughs> well, yeah. It's not easy. So you want to pick up them guys who work in hard to put the little piece of dollar on the sideline. And my father who passed that gun, pick up yourself. Because... You know, some of us, our fathers are not here. So for those fathers who are not here, we want to pick up the dads that pass and gone and left us with the strength to carry on. Yep. And it's only that kind of strength the fathers is imparting to the boys. Eh? They have some things that women impart into the sons. Yeah? It have some things that women impart onto the son. But it have certain things that only a father can impart into the son. And daughters as well. Yeah, and daughters as well. Yeah, yeah, but it has to be thing. Because mm-hmm. as um, the son was saying, the man, the, the son, like, is it a woman now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. And, and oh. we need to reinstill that strength, strong male presence in the, in the upcoming males. You know what I mean? <laughs> Mm, males so, need their father. I'm yeah, telling you. and it's some things that the, the fathers doesn't impose upon in the quiet. Yep. But hey, the man late on your late boy, pick up on the Melanie inside. Yeah. So we know that you know relationships and relationships go through the, the trials and tribulations. But as the ladies say, the ladies say it all the day, boy. I'm glad you ladies here. I had a talk much. I only did talk about what's there. Right? So. Yeah, that's all you do it. Bus ride, bus ride. <laughs> the ladies. Yes, I all you do it. It's the first time I hear me sound like she talked about she hard, boy. Hmm. I, 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 I had to no, say that, you know. I had to come back to um, It's emotional for me because. Yes, yes. Um, um, I don't want to cry, but um, go you go ahead. You can do anything over here except the cough um, because it's PG <laughs> Um, I don't know <laughs> my I don't know my biological parents, but um, right. yeah. Mm-hmm. I wish I had known who's my dad, right? But um, go ahead. Take your time. Take your time. I. I thank God for my adopted dad. I love him. I love him to death because he has taught me a lot than if I had known my biological dad, it would not have been so. And take your time, take your time. When he was um 
when he was sick, I was there. I bathed him. I put on pampers on him. I everything for him. Right? And um it's really emotional for me because I love my dad so much, so, so much. Not to say I I don't love my mom, I love her, but my dad, he's he's like my role model today to make me this mother and daughter that I am finished school did everything the right way and make him proud. I never left school with a big belly. I hold up my head. You know, all that I accomplished when he was working out there hard offshore and making sure that he provide for me and he always goes and say I really kept up myself and today I'm looking after him and it hurts me to see he is he's not well and he reaches a stage where he has Alzheimer's now and I'm there for him I keep telling him I love him and I thank Chizan wholeheartedly from my heart. She talked to him. You know, she talked to him. Chizan would be there. She cries with me when I go through my stuff. And God is really connect people in your life for this reason. And I be strong for my kids when I didn't have to help my kids. He was there. You know, supporting me to this day. That's why I tell my kids, love all your grandfather, love him. Okay. You know, all in all your father. I don't know my biological father. I don't know my biological mom. I don't know my biological father. So that's why it really would be like really emotional for me. You know, but every I thank God that my mother, she did the right thing. My dad did the right thing, although I don't know them. I never see their face. But I thank God for them every day, I, especially, and I thank God I could get up and still see my father around and wish him happy father and then still hug him up. You know, and I like to thank Jason for my heart, you know, talking to him and have him laughing. And when he was sick and thing, she always there. She's always there for me. So I like to tell her thanks. And I I love her for that. And when I come on this live, I am happy with Chamika and chill and support. I'm very, very happy. I'm very happy. Sorry guys for just breaking That's down okay. like this. That's okay, Lisa. You know? Mm -hmm. That's what we're here for. So mm -hmm. <sighs> so that's my that's my point of view. Yeah, so <clears throat> really nice, you know, and we could understand that. So we will shout out as well the fathers who would have adopted, you know, children. Right? Mm -hmm. So shout out to those fathers who took in children who are not, you know, as near as biologically. So to the well let us say sometimes it could be a stranger to the uncles to the brothers mm -hmm. who you know take up that role as a father happy father's day to you all as well right because we know that there are some may say really don't have any children of their own but they do mm -hmm. take up that role they do and yep. you know as lisa say you know she's thanks she's thankful for both her mom and dad for you know adopting her i mean that's mm -hmm. a very Big decision to make. Decision, of course. And every, yep. yeah, everybody mm -hmm. don't do that sometimes. Everybody cannot even do that. Do right? That. So, yeah, really, I shout totally out agree. to the adoptive fathers, mm -hmm. the adoptive parents today, you know, for Lisa, taking up that. Lisa, how we feel it? I feel that joy every day. You know, they take the step. Yes, of that's course. Love. That's the love yeah. in the house. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Look at all that, all that, hey, now I see it.
Sto parlando. Watch him, he's start again. Watch him, he's start. He's start. He start. He start. Show that boss right again. Watch him. Lisa, boss right. no. Lisa, no, I don't be behind Lisa because most of the time she doesn't be feeling how she wants to be. I just be harassed. And she has said, girl, come and enjoy yourself. Come and relax yourself. Come and, you know, mm-hmm. because. I tell her the so, same. Yeah, mm-hmm. sometimes mm-hmm. there's so much of stress in the world. Yep. And you get it so want to cool off in our ball. Yep. You know? So it's good that they can come and you know she can like mm-hmm. this kind of thing. She can like this. Mm-hmm. She can at, like. least, uh, at least you have a dad a dad figure. I have I didn't have that. My father died when I was two years old. Yeah. And I don't even know my dad. And I have a picture on the fridge with my dad here, but I don't know him. Like know him. So yeah. So that's why people should appreciate so it. Seeing, yeah. So we see mm-hmm. here Andy is saying that he he don't, he never knew his dad as well. Oh my. Okay. Right? So he can yeah. He can relate. Yeah. He can relate. So he can relate. So I know exactly. Of, yeah, he can relate. How people feel, don't have a dad. I know how that feels. And today I don't have nobody to call to say happy father. The only my husband and my daughter's father. But like a dad, I don't have a dad I can call and say happy father's day, dad, you know? I would love to, but I don't have that experience, you know? So people should appreciate right. their fathers, you know? Right. It'll be emotional for me on this day, very emotional. Right. But I just stay strong with the kids and, you know, and, you know, mm-hmm. keep it going, you know? But it's sad. Not a nice day for me. And why are we on the topic of bigger up the dads? And this. Yes, listen. Yeah, he started the excursion again. Yes, 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 he started. He loved that, didn't he? <laughs> I'll be the first listen one on that bus. Yes. Listen to me. And you know, well, yeah, wait, you go see. Because here we go, you know. Lisa like family gathering. You see, gathering, you see, gathering is a, a, a form of the could be stressed. And it can be around people who you know for you. You see, when they're around people who you know for you, that doesn't give you strength. So you, I, you're fine. Of I course, know I you believe that. Of course. But I'm going to kind of thing because when you're around people who you could say, ah, boy, I know this person from it. It might be five people on your hand. Eh? And Two. sadly, it doesn't even have parents for any mothers and fathers and even for the children. Big, the big, and they can't even call them if they're in pressure. They can't call them for help. But they could call you that. You understand what I mean? They might be able to call Chica. They can't even call the parents. Eh? And we're talking about love that we have grown as a being talking as baby and as a child. It has some people to quick and call a friend or a cousin faster than the mother or father right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whether who living or who not living or who are around who not around. So sometimes True. you have a, a camaraderie of people who you know you could get together with and you know, hey, if I feel that way, I could call a chica, I could call a Jesus, I could call on somebody. Mm-hmm. And I know for sure I could call on them. That's how it is. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, don't have oh, to them kind of people in your life. You see like how COVID passed there and everybody broke it? You know who for what? Who? Yeah. Serious. It had some people could not even call the mother or the father or that one. It had a friend. You understand? Uh, Think about that. Uh, and it was a old true. friend there. Yeah. <laughs> it's a old friend there. Yeah. It's our friend. It's our best Yeah, I think I think it's our real friends. If they know, I can't remember what date it is. Listen to me. It has people right now that if something. No, lie and right. It's true right though. Now, I agree with him. It's true. Or there's mm-hmm. some kind of problem. No, right now in your life. It's a certain friend that picking up the phone to call it. It's not mommy or daddy. Yes, I could talk about that. It's true. I'm talking about any time. It has no day for that. Something uh-huh. happens when you pick up the phone, it has two people you know you're calling, and it might be a mother and father. No. Trust me. So I, that is why the boy will be promoting now. Ah, boy. Uh, your, boy keep going. your boy will be promoting your good friend. So, all who have good friends, Andy, so Nali, I know you have a one or two good, good partners. I know Jason throwing away space. 
มีสัตว์ด้วยครับมาหมดเดี๋ยวเกิดไปเนี่ยมีเจ็กกี้มอสครับไม่ติดกันตอนไป already ไปไปเย้ยเฮ้ยชิคก้าวยูติดบอลเลยเย้ยติดบอลไปสักเกฟเกิร์ลเกิร์ลเฟรนด์อย่าไปอาทิตย์กินคุณบุญเป็นคุณยันนุยเอาคนกอลอนบุกเข็มเจอแล้วคุณจะโอเคเลยบุกเข็มกบวันชิมฮิลไลท์เด็ดเฮ้ยเยสเยสเยสไลท์อันนี้อันฟาร์ดับเบิลเซบิอาเบรนทรินเดสเมนเอตัสซัมฟาร์ดับเบิลเซบิอาเบรนทรินและเดี๋ยวคุณก็ต้องคุยกับเบรนทรินเวลาเขาอยู่ในภาวะโอ้ลีดี้สไม่ทับสตรีนัวคอสีสมเด็จมันไม่เป็นเดสิสตายนะเอ็นไม่เป็น You know what I mean? The time show you cannot test it. So on Father's Day, you know we love enough the Father. I mean, talking spiritual Father now. So it must have a fella or a, a man. Not really a father, but when you're dumb, he can give you a word of encouragement. It has spiritual fathers out there. You know? I know we never really look at it that way. It's your boyfriend, eh, Olya? We talking now, eh, maybe a elder, maybe a senior male, right? And he will give you a little spiritual encouragement when you're under pressure. Ladies, any other, you have any other thing on your life, or you never know if you can design any spiritual part that's what they want to pick up, right? My job, my grandfather, is be my special. Your grandfather. My grandmother. Hey, we talk about spiritual father, say. Well, I just say, but I didn't have my grandfather. You didn't have your grandfather either. Okay. So happy Father's Day to the grandfathers who are still around as well, the grandfathers and the great grandfathers, you know. There are some people who are still, they are fortunate to have their um, grandfathers, their great grandfathers as well. Yeah, I have one grand. My grandfather, he is alive. So happy Father's Day to my grandfather. I have one. That is my last grandparent remaining. Yeah. Yeah. Some people don't have them. Mm -hmm. My grandfather passed. My grandfather passed when when I was in standard five. Oh, oh, that's yeah. when he passed away. Yeah. That's true. When I was in standard two, I think. Right. So some people may have uncles, right? Um, who may still be around that really is a, that could be a spiritual father to them. I um. <laughs> I don't really have, I only have one uncle, really. Yeah, so, and he's not even in this country. Right, so we want to shout out all the uncles, the brothers, the fathers, the grandfathers, the great, great, the great. And just, you know, all the men who play that role as, you know, a father in the lives of so many. Right? And it's really good to appreciate the men in our lives because we know that there are men who really do play important roles in our lives who are really there for us in so many different ways. Lion like, said, "The spiritual father so is is not a boyfriend, but they are you know some people they they could really actually call their partner and talk about anything at any point in time of the day. That is really their shoulder to lean on, cry on." Laugh on whatever it is they need to do on that shoulder. Yes, yeah, so big up to all those men who provide that strength and that courage for the everybody in their life, really and truly. Yeah, all those in their life because they do. So happy, happy Father's Day! A big happy Father's Day. And before we um uh, bust out, you know we before we bust out, I know what you're going to cook and go harashi after. But um, that is one of the things that my my grandfather used to say a lot before you know them days passed. 
And he used to say when I was very young that you as the male in the relationship, you should serve as that woman's spiritual father in the sense that direction, encouragement, and strength. Because it is in you she has to find that. Not much is a good looking fella and wealth and you have a little dollar sign in your pocket and it could provide this and provide that. He say any man with money could do that. Right? He said that if you are the individual that provides that spiritual energy and strength when she needs it, then most of the time that woman will always be around you. And that is some of the things that men could only impart. My mother could tell me that. That things that only a male, a great a grand uncle or a grandfather could have tell you as a young person coming up that would have stayed with you. What did he say in He said to be honest, he really don't have any spiritual father, but I do have my big brother. And we know who he's talking about we, here. We, we do Lion. have because I know you know when soldiers go through, they just come lion boy thing. So you know what I mean? And and you don't want to be a old man. You know what I mean? You don't. That's a vibration. So, is that, is that always for the cheap case? You know, what is that condition? I told you that, yeah. So, I happy, Father's Father's Day. Day. happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. And I don't know if I'm going to be live at the time or that. And that's good. I don't know if I'm going to find out what they can face in the live tonight or something. So, we look at the out. What do you have planned for the man then, while What do you have planned? Nothing? A party. I know you want a party. So, um, <laughs> don't forget. We got... Oh, oh, oh. Hello.